dealing damage back on Legacy was fairly tough. We had a high tank meta back on Legacy where putting CP into health or armor was incredibly valuable. Just how the game worked, just how the math worked, it was extremely valuable to put CP into health and armor. Now, that left damage to be a very hard thing on Legacy. How do you get it? How do you deal uh, any significant amount of damage? And what is that nice sweet spot for putting health and armor and then some damage? Fortunately, there was Traitor's Touch, a incredibly powerful card at the time because it deals something special. And we're gonna take a look at that card, Traitor's Touch, here in Monolith and see exactly if it is still worth it. So, ladies and gentlemen, here we go with Traitor's Touch. So, it is a 7 CP corruption card that has 1 CP of lifesteal, 1 CP of mana regen, and a 5 CP passive. What this passive dove does is it's 3% of target's current health as damage. So how whatever the current health of your target is at, it deals 3% of that as damage. It's just 3% of the health is deleted. It doesn't take into account armor. It's just 3% of the health is just gone. It's pretty badass. Now... Uh, you might be wondering about the 5 CP passive. That's simply because you get 2 CP of stats on the card, and but it costs 5, 2 minus 7, uh, 7 minus 2 rather is 5 CP passive. So that is the cost of that passive to you um, on Trader's Touch. Now, uh, this is a kind of a different view of you know, a different view of this card uh, in, ter in terms of like looking at the math and stuff. So just bear with me while I explain this a little bit. So here are here are our corruption heroes, Grex, Kalari, Kwong, Sevrog, and Grim, the ones that can use Traitor's Touch anyway. Scaling, they, here is their scaling with power. So Grex and uh, Sevrog, 0.7 scaling with power on their basic attacks, Kalari and, and Kwong, 0.6 on their basic attacks, and Grim, 0.8. Five. That's going to come in a little bit later. Now, here in these sections here, we have tanks and supports, casters, rangers, and fighters. We have a certain amount of health that I've kind of, that I have determined to be a fair amount for these heroes. Their armor of that, which again, it's just my estimation of how much health and armor, that's my that's, that, that's my professional judgment, I guess, uh, with uh, how much health and armor these people are going to have. So, you know, uh, tanks and supports, you know, anywhere from 1,000 extra health to 12, um, to 1,200 extra health, armor, etc. cetera. Uh, casters, about 200 extra health and their base armor, they're not gonna build any. Rangers, uh, their health, again, they're not gonna build health and they're not gonna build armor. Uh, but fighters, they're going to build anywhere from 300 to 500 extra health with armor. Uh, I chose not to go with any armor just because it's just such a high glass cannon meta at the moment. So now, now what is this next part in each of these kind of sections here? TT damage st stands for Trader's Touch Damage. Now, it's really quite simple. 3% of the current of the target's current health is damaged. So at full health, at full health, Traitor's Touch is going to yield 78 damage. 78. Just boop. 78 is gone per hit. Boom. 78. Push. Gone. Now at half health, at half health, uh, it's going to just do half the damage. 39 damage against a tank support per hit. So full health, they're going to deal 78. Half health, 39. Now you might be like, that kind of doesn't sound like much, but consider that if you were to put 6 CP uh, it, into power, if you're going to take the, uh, you know, the 5 CP cost to you for this passive, include that opportunity cost of just under 1 CP, so I just rounded up to 6 CP, what are, what are you going to do? 6 CP, you're going to put that into power, and what does 6 CP of power get you? That is 36 power, uh, but with their scaling against the armored target, 
it only actually ends up being 9, 8, 8, 9, and 12 damage when you take into consideration your scaling and the fact that you're hitting a high armored target. So as you can see, look at these numbers. Um, Grim, obviously he can use power of... Uh, Quite a bit more just because of his scaling here it's a higher scaling but Kalari and Kuang they really suffer due to that low base uh, the, their low basic attack dam uh, scaling so look at this against a tank traitor's touch is mind-blowing look at this 78 damage versus only eight it's 10 times that's not even 10 cps worth it's 10 times the value uh, which is just astronomical. Even against a half health tank, it is crazy. About four times, just over four times, a little, little less under four times for Grim. The value of, of, of his damage stat, like that's insane. Against a tank support, definitely, definitely worth it. Just worth it just because if they're this highly armored, you're not doing any damage to begin with. So it's definitely, definitely worth it. Now, if you go with the casters and rangers and fighters, we see something different happen here against a full health caster. You're doing 49 damage per hit when they're half health, only 25. And then casters here, 25, 22, 22, 25, 31 for the damage. If, if, if you were to put six, that 60p into power instead, some of you might have an issue with that. I am choosing not to include these. I'm not. I'm choosing not to include the the lifesteal and the mana regen in there simply because if you're going to be getting these key cards like this, the stats that are on them are beneficial. Period. So I'm not going to include that. I'm only including the passive. You ca everybody can use lifesteal, especially these heroes. Everybody can use that mana regen. Surprisingly enough, Kalari very variability focus Kwong variability focus several use even variability focus even grim actually kind of all so you can use it I'm choosing not to include that some of you won't like that you might want to include the whole 7 CP and make that 8 CP opportunity cost etc guys it's I th this is what I'm doing <laughs> this is what I'm doing so casters you can see against a caster here that Against a half health target, you're starting to reach the point where Trader's Touch ain't worth it no more. Not, it's not really worth it and worth it anymore here on a half health, half health caster, especially for Grim. But against full health, definitely worth it. Against a Ranger, uh, you can see here that the still the full health Ranger, it's definitely worth it on Trader's Touch um, for you know. Per hit, 41 extra damage versus where you would have only done 21. But against a half health, you're starting to reach that point where it's not worth it. Against a fighter, it's almost close to the tanks, uh, but they're not. They don't have that much health and not that much armor. Um, so you can see 62 damage versus uh, 31 at half health. And then here is the power for them. So it, it works out. Fighters, fighters still pretty good. You can still attack a, a fighter at half health and still be worth it. So there is, there, there's a kind of math. There is some more things. You're probably, you're probably, there's, there's a few things probably like, whoa, but Sylphen, you're forgetting. We're getting to that. And here, this chart is just to see, is just to showcase the power of attack speed with Trader's Touch. Trader's Touch works per hit. So if you can hit faster, more often than Trader's Touch is going to work more of the time and it's going to get more value out of it. So against a, let's just say a, a, uh, a tank here, 2700 health with a Kwong, who's very, very popular here in today's meta, you can see that against a tank, um, if we go, you know, if we go uh, 20, well, something that's that's, that, that, that's more familiar, 15-15, uh, or actually 17-17 is what I uh, tend to do with him. You can see that even if you are going to go 17-17, look at how much the DPS is in attack speed's favor. It's astronomical. As you go up here, look at this. You want 29 CP into into attack speed and only 4 or 5 into damage. That's if you were going to like ex extremely emphasize uh, Trader's Touch, but it's this is just to prove the point that attack speed is astronomical for 
uh, for, for Trader's Touch, especially against high health targets. If you're not going up against high health targets, then the DPS starts swinging in the damage favor back to its normal position. So I guess a high health target attack speed is amazing for Trader's Touch to work. And here is some of the analysis and conclusions that it's going to probably put a lot, hopefully quite a few of your uh, quite a few of your worries to rest here. So again, that opportunity cost, I'm going to say is, is one CP. Um, I mean, either or if you're taking the whole seven, it's just over one CP. If, if it's, if you're considering just the passive, it's just under one CP. So opportunity cost of about one CP. Now traders touch more than pays for itself against a full health target. Okay. Uh, obviously definitely does against, you know, I mean, I mean take any of these heroes against a full health tank even a caster ranger and fighter definitely does now there's a few things T traders touch pays for itself against half full targets in some situations grim no he 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 doesn't really um he doesn't like attack oh still kind of a little bit of a fighter um but some situations it still pays for itself attacking a half health target most targets again remember these assumptions and generalizations power Instead of Trader's Touch is better though if one has crit chance with crit bonus. That's probably what you guys are wondering about. Um, and yes, power instead of Trader's Touch is better if one has crit chance with the crit bonus. So remember that uh, this damage here can crit. It can crit. Crit can't affect Trader's Touch, so this can't crit, but this can so remember if you're running with that crit bonus with crit chance this 25 can all of a sudden become 50 75 like right all uh, it, it it blows up in potential so uh, remember that this can crit and that's probably going to put some of your worries to rest here um it can crit so uh, we're going to get into that in 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 the conclusion. Talk about that a little bit more. Now, the health cutoff point for Trader's Touch to pay for itself it depends. You might be wondering, like, oh, what's that? You know, health cutoff point that I just have to stop attacking somebody. It depends. Remember, because you have to compare it to something, and that comparison varies. So, uh, depending on what hero you're attacking and how you know and putting that into power it depends what is that cutoff point that i could have been just you know putting into power and damage and you know it it it, it, it depends so tanks and supports it's actually pretty low you can you can you can you, you can attack a tank support all the way down to about 35 35 health in order for that to um in order in order for that to 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 pay off but a caster's 825 so the caster's not they're definitely not uh somebody you want to attack for too long rangers about 650 just because of that high base armor the high base armor and fighters about 850 health so that is the health cutoff points in general with these assumptions please remember um so that's it, 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 it's quite the difference here. 825 for a caster, but tanks and supports, you can just go to town on them pretty much till they're dead, really. Uh, 350. So some conclusions, guys. The profit of this card, about 10 times the value on tanks. I mean, if you really want to, you know, if you're not going for crit, if you're not going for crit, uh, it's like 10 times the value. Uh, then, then, then going into power, even you know, like half health, four times the value, four times, not even four CP, which would barely increase their 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 damage here. It's, it's four times. So, uh, but unfortunately, it has negative value, of course, against most targets under half health. So, negative value against tar targets that have half health. So, it's it's hurting you. In other words, Trader's Touch is going to hurt you against most targets under half health course not supports or tanks with a lot of armor and health now traders touch is definitely a consideration if you're not building crit if you're not building crit traders touch is definitely a consideration you guys can go to town in the comments of you know how not going crit is just stupid um but traders touch is definitely a consideration if not building crit if uh you wanted to do some 
strange uh, of all the corruption heroes to go like a high tanky sort of sustained presence obviously Severog I guess you could go Grux as well maybe even Kwong I suppose um, and you just want it to be that tank killer um, it's definitely considered and, and 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 you don't have the CP to put into crit and crit bonus and all that stuff definitely a consideration if you're not building crit definitely definitely a consideration for sure but don't use Trader's Touch if you're building crit with the bonus. You can see like this damage here can obviously two and a half times more when you crit starts to really, really pay off. The only situation that's that, 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 that Trader's Touch is just amazing against is tanks and supports, um, even, fi even fighters to some extent. But remember that um, you have to use that comparison um, with that with their armor and stuff so don't use traders touch if you're building crit with crit bonus and it's finally summing up guys basically traders touch is the ultimate tank killer that's kind of what it's all it's it, that's what's really only good for nowadays especially if you are considering crit traders touch really it's the ultimate tank killer right now high attack speed especially in somebody like kolari um you know, and you wanted to make sure that even if you do attack that tank, you can just annihilate them. Uh, I mean, remember, like, it's really, it's not that bad. Like, if you're running extremely high crit, you know, a high, extremely high crit Kalari, who has a high, high uh, base attack anyways, um, you know, like, even against a full health target, um, you know, like, this 20 turns into turns into 50 damage well a fighter you're still doing 62 at full health so i mean it would take a quite a few hits quite low in their health to actually you know really make this that significant of a difference of course tanks and supports it's going to be astronomical in value like look at this even if you crit with eight that's only what that's 20 damage instead of this even if you do crit so like it's absolutely worth it against against tanks and supports even if you're considering crit but unfortunately not so much on casters and fighters um i mean it's still good damage it's still good damage at full health it's just at half health not so much you could make some argument of my job is to a well ultimately kill somebody but b if you're taking more of a team of a team fight team a team mindset if i can just nuke down a caster and ranger to you know less than half health that's going to probably take them out of the team fight. They're going to start retreating. And then you can, it's basically, you're kind of making a 4v5 or a 5v4 just five, just by attacking somebody very quickly for, you know, a, a few moments and just kind of get them out of the fight, force them to retreat. And then all of a sudden you've created a numbers advantage. Yes, you don't kill them necessarily, or maybe you do, but that is an idea. That is an idea, you know. So there you guys, there, there you guys go. There is Trader's Touch. Hopefully I kind of talked about that a little bit. It's early in the morning. My apologies. So there you guys go. There's Trader's Touch. Very interesting considerations here. You guys are probably going to have a tough time in the comments going, you know, but compared to crit, it's, 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 it's not really all that great. But then yes, it is actually like, it is actually pretty good when you even consider the tank support and you know, etc. etc. So Guys, have fun in the comments. Talk about Trader's Touch. I think in some situations, it's actually pretty darn good. It's actually pretty darn, darn good. Um, but hey, have some fun. So there you go. Please like the video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it. Share it with the community. Of course, guys, subscribe. If you guys like this content, found it useful, please subscribe so I can do it for you in the future. Till next time, like always, stay optimistic and positive. <laughs>